Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over a pretty basic rundown of the layers property in TrueView, DWG TrueView. And we're going to look at how to unlock, how to freeze, how to change different layers around, and how to view layers on your drawing in TrueView. So this video was actually suggested in the comments section. And with that being said, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you like the video, give it a like down below. If you want to see some other video in TrueView or AutoCAD, leave it in the comments section below as well. And again, if someone else would find this video helpful, give it a share too. All right, so we're gonna use this warehouse design series that I have created in a couple different videos. I'll actually leave the link above if you guys wanna watch it. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna focus on the layers box in the home tab, and that's gonna be up here. And the first thing I wanna go over is this unsaved layer state. We're not gonna focus on this today. There's nothing that we will need to look at in this drawing specifically. And most of the time you won't have an unsaved layer state you need to look at anyways. So right now we're just gonna go over the basics of the layers and we're not gonna deal with that. The second thing I'm gonna come up to is these two buttons, actually these three buttons right up here. These are gonna be your three um, select buttons. So you're gonna be able to turn the layer off. You're gonna be able to freeze the layer right here. And then you're gonna be able to look up your layer properties. So what the layer properties does is it just pulls up the layer properties box and gives you a complete visual of the entire um, property of each layer. So you have the line type, line weight, transparency, plot style, uh, description, if there is any, and then you can scroll down to see all the layers. This is pretty similar. We're gonna close out of that. This is pretty similar to this drop down right here, except this drop down is a little bit more basic and less defined. So you won't have as many options. And if you wanna see something really detailed, again, like a description, I would recommend using the layer state button right here. Now, the other two buttons are freeze and turn off and on. And the difference between these two functions is one is used for long term, one is used for short term. The freeze is going to be more used for a long term um, drawing. And when you're using the freeze, usually you have a more complicated drawing that can kind of take a while to load. It's a large drawing, large file. The off and on is just going to be for a temporary quick a fix. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off some things and I'm going to come here and click this button and we are now given this pick box as you can see here and we're going to get rid of these circles because they're just distance circles for the fire extinguisher so we're going to shut these off just click on them and as you can see everything turned off. Now I can come here we're going to come to the forklift we're going to turn these off and say we want to turn the guardrails off too just for you know whatever reason, maybe you're looking at uh, putting something in the drawing and you want those off right now. When we To get out of this uh, pick box, we're gonna press escape. And then we're also gonna freeze, we'll just say we're gonna freeze these racks because we don't need these for that long. So we're gonna click freeze. And as you can see here now, you have a full kind of scope of what the warehouse would look like. But that's the freeze button. Now, you can do everything that I just showed you and more if you drop down this layer drop down box. So as you can see here, we have turned off the fire extinguisher, we have turned off the forklift, we have turned off the guardrail, and we have frozen the reserve rack locations. You can then turn them back on here by clicking these buttons, and then you can unfreeze this here. And as you can see, all of it returned. Now, the other thing you can do as well is when you're in this, you can also lock things. Locking things, like this little um, icon suggests, locks or unlocks the layers. This really is not important unless you have AutoCAD to match it. So, for example, we're going to um, kind of turn off some things so I can show you what I mean. These um, columns, these building columns are locked. The reason they're locked is because I want to be able to maneuver stuff around in the drawing without affecting those columns. Those columns need to stay put no matter what. I want to be able to put rack above them. I want to be able to put a bunch of stuff above them, but they need to stay put. So the lock function within DWG TrueView really doesn't make a difference, but if you would like to, you can also unlock those as well. All right, so one last quick thing with AutoCAD TrueView that I want to be very clear about is that you cannot type in the command line. So it's gonna give you these commands. You cannot use them in the command line yourself. What you can do, however, though, is if you make a mistake, you cl can click the undo button. So control Z does not work with an undo here. So for example, we're gonna freeze or turn off this layer, the warehouse um, rack, turn it off. And then if you come down here, you can actually click 
the undo and it turns it back on. So you don't have to go through and hunt through your saved layers. You just come down to the undo button. And that works with anything, any layers, as well as the freeze too. So we're gonna freeze this and then we're gonna come back to undo and it's gonna unfreeze it. And you'll get the command line there. So layer reserve racking has been frozen. Select an object, refrozen, or settings undo. And that's where you click it. You just come down there and click undo or or you can click it again to freeze it and then click U, enter, and it's gonna undo. So you can type in the command line when it gives you an option as such as S or U, but that is it. All right, so that's gonna wrap up the video here. Hopefully it was helpful. Again, this wasn't meant to kind of explain what layers are. This is more of a video to just show you how you can turn them off, unfreeze them, um, freeze them if you want to, lock them. Basically, if you have a drawing that you wanna remove some layers, not permanently, but you just want to remove them for the sake of measurement, this is how you do it. You go into the layers property, you can turn them off or freeze them. So hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully you guys learned something and hope you guys have a good rest of your day.